What's up guys? Welcome back to the No Way Garage where we Get to watch. You need to watch what's going on because we're doing some cool stuff here. We're building a race car. We're going to go racing. Thanks for tuning in. Let's, uh, if you're just tuning in to this video, let's have a look at, uh, at where we're at. So we're building a 1971 four-door hardtop Chevelle. Um, we're planning to take this thing into the nine seconds and the quarter mile. It's going to be a full interior car, street car, but a streetable race car essentially. So let's go through it. I'll show you what we've done so far and what we're up to today. Okay, so we got a lot going on here. We have redone a bunch of the welds here on the frame. We have done our own boxing in kit on this. They don't make kits for four doors, so we built our own. Uh, so we got, we got our tubes in here to brace the frame uh, that tie into the rear suspension. We have also done a notch on the rear end here for our, uh, our narrow diff. We're going with coilover suspension. Our cage is gonna tie in right here. We are doing a full eight point cage in here, a 850 cert cage. So it is gonna be a full out race car that will go on the street. Now we have also done our transmission cross member uh, there's still a little bit of work here to do. Once we get the, the mount, we will be able to put it on there and we can check all of our heights. Uh, we changed out the front uh, mounts on it as well to solid mounts to hold the horsepower we're planning. This engine is a 454 we ran in a race truck years and years ago. We found out there's mice in it, so we're today going to tear this apart. So that's what the plan is today. We're going to tear into this engine. We're going to take the heads off of it. Uh, oh, one other thing I got to update you guys on is uh, something over here. This is our diff that we are running. We have a Moser or M9 9 inch and it is narrowed. Uh, I believe it's uh, two inches on each side. Move this stuff out of the way. Uh, Moser also sent sent us AFCO um, adjustable shocks and coils for it. So it's all adjustable. We can really have some fun with it. 35 inch spline axles or 35 spline axles, not 35 inch. Um, and then they also sent us Wilwa brakes as well. So we got a lot of cool stuff going into this car. We have more unboxing coming, but uh, first things first, we're gonna get this engine tore apart and see how bad the mouse damage is in it. Because if it's too bad, we're gonna have to find another block or go a different route for our shakedown engine, essentially. So this engine, it's just to basically break the car in and have some fun with it while we wait for our new engine that's getting built right now. So I'll get you guys all set up here so you can watch as we tear into this thing. And it's, uh, it's almost comical. When we got this engine, the intake, it was full of dirt, full of uh, mouse poos and all this other gross stuff. When we took the intake off, it was into the intake runners on the heads as well. So that is the agenda today. We're gonna to tear this thing apart, see how bad the block is. The bottom end looks good. So with the bottom end looking good, I'm hoping that the top of the pistons looks okay, but I did see what looked like a mouse in one of the cylinders when I uh, scoped it. So let's have a look, we'll get into this. Okay guys, so we're gonna take this intake back off. We'll pull both the valve covers. We got to loosen the, loosen the rockers and pull out the push rods and then we can start working on stuff. I'm hoping, 
I'm hoping that we don't find anything too bad, but you guys will see. We already found mice through it. Let's see how bad it is. pulled out we're gonna set those aside we got all the all the rockers that are loose on here um, we're gonna leave leave the lifters in I do kind of want to maybe pull another one out and have a look at it and like I mean they look good so we're really hoping that the mice mouse damage is no further than the heads but we're gonna pull these heads off now and see what we got Okay, moment of truth. What? No way. No mice in this one. These are actually in really good shape. I'm happy to see what I see in here. Uh, things actually look really good in on this side of the engine anyways. We still got to go to this side here and see what it looks like. So I'm going to tear into this side. If I remember right, it was this side that I... I thought I saw the mouse, so um, we're, I, I'm pretty sure it was. So let's take this head off and see. Okay, moment of truth. Let's have a look. What? No way. So I guess I didn't have any mice in there. I'm I'm assuming this is what I was seeing was just this carbon buildup. But we do have dirt in this one, so that's nice. But uh, guys, this engine actually looks in really good shape. Um, we uh, we might have locked out. I'm not saying that this thing's gonna run, but there's a good chance it'll run. Now before, I haven't turned this engine over just because of what I've seen in the intake, so the one thing we will do is we're gonna vacuum all this out, we'll blow out the cylinders as best we can before, before even trying to turn it over. I'm not, I'm still not even gonna do that. But uh, looking at the cam, there is a couple wear spots on the cam, so I'll show you those. So it is kind of hard to see, but like right there, there's some spots um, on that one. There's some spots on it too. Um, so I think what there's a good chance everything is good. The engine didn't have any tick to it or anything like that when we were running it. So we might pull a couple of the... Uh, rod caps off so we can see what the bearings look like and stuff like that but I mean 
you can't, you can't get much happier than how I am right now, not finding an actual mouse in there. I thought for sure we pull that thing off and there'd be a mouse in there. I'm sorry to disappoint you guys because I know a lot of people were like, oh, I can't wait to see the mouse. But we got some dirt in there from, uh, from the mice, but I'm gonna get stuff vacuumed out. I'm gonna pull a couple of these lifters out and we're gonna see it, how good everything looks. I'm, I mean, I'm ecstatic. So we'll, uh, I'm gonna clean some stuff up here. I'm gonna take some other stuff off this engine as well. One thing, like one unboxing we gotta do here very soon is what we're doing to the front of this. And it's pretty exciting, but I can't tell you just yet, but there's some cool stuff going on this engine that will be going on the new engine as well. So we're gonna put it on this one and uh, because we wanna drive this engine, so the easiest way to do it is just put all the new parts that are going on the new engine onto this one and then onto the new one. So overall, the engine looks pretty good. There isn't too, too much to worry about. There's a little, well, there was dirt in the one cylinder, but we'll deal with that. We will tear it down a little bit more, maybe a new cam. Uh, you can see in the one cylinder here, there is some rust. So we are going to have to check for ridge and stuff like that, but it is what it is. Sadly for you guys, there's no mice in here, but sadly for me, it's not perfect. So. We got uh, some stuff to deal with here. Um, it is what it is. That's, that's my motto with, with everything with this car now is it is what it is.